Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on simple elevators. Now, as the name would suggest, this plugin allows you to create very small and simple elevators that can get you from the bottom of a building to the top. And this plugin is highly customizable and it's also free. Now, if you haven't seen my latest video with Server Miner, make sure you go ahead and check that out. Link will be in the top of the description and then you'll get double the plugin content. So let's have a look at this plugin. First of all, let's look at some commands. If you do forward slash elevator, we will see that we can list all of the different combinations, reload the plugin and create our own. So let's go and test this one out. This one goes up five floors and has a two second delay. As you can see, if I hit space, we will go to the next floor in two seconds or 40 ticks. And if we go up one more, we will go to the roof. If you want to go back down, we can hit shift, wait two seconds, and then we'll be on floor four, and then three, two, one, etc. So if you want to change the delay, you can change that in the config file. I have already changed that, so all we need to do is just hit reload, and then it will be instant. So we are on one, two, three, four, five, and then we can go all the way back down to one very, very quickly. So that's how it works. It's very awesome. This is the first combination elevator which is just a quartz block and a redstone block, but there are multiple. So if we go ahead and go outside uh, and do forward slash elevator list, we will see the other ones. So there is a step and an iron block, carpet and wall and stone and dirt, I think. So let's go ahead and create um, number four here, hit enter, and it will be placed down below us. And then if we want to have a floor, we do it maybe five blocks above, and there we go. So let's go ahead and place another one, maybe 12 blocks above. Hit space and we can travel between them. So that is what that elevator looks like. Let's go ahead and test out the third combination. And let's go up, I don't know, six floors and then 12. Hit space and we will go up like that. So this one is a lot more compact. Obviously it's only a block of wall and a carpet. Um, and then you can go up and back down. So let's look at the final one now. So if we go ahead and create that, let's do it 24 blocks and 12 blocks, and then do it as from zero. Hit space and we will go up a couple of times like so. And let's go ahead and hit shift on the top one, uh, shift on the middle, and then we're back at the bottom like so. So that is how you create them in game. Uh, these are all the different designs that you can see. You can edit this in the config file. And if you want to use the commands, it's just for such elevator. You can list the different types, you can reload the config file if you made changes, or you can create your own. So that is how it works in-game. We are going to have a quick look at the YML file on how we can change things in there. So here we are in the elevator folder and there is a single YML file. So if we open this up, we can see everything we can change in here. So up at the top, we have a list of permissions that your players can have so they can use elevators and create their own. Uh, down here we can change the prefix that appears in chat and here we can change the combination. So these are the four I showed you in game. As you can see we can literally just change the block to anything we want and add metadata as well. So if we wanted a different type of stone or wall we could change this from 11 which is blue I think to 14 which is 15 which is black or 14 which would be red and we could change this iron block to a diamond block if we wanted to. Very straightforward. Then we have any worlds that we want disabled or enabled. Um, so if you want that, you could just remove the hashtag like that or pound sign, and that would mean it is red and that will enable these worlds. Then we have the max distance. So you can set it to 255 or higher to ignore this completely and then it's infinite. But um, yeah, set that to a reasonable value and whether it will replace blocks at the destination elevator. So if you don't want it to delete blocks, set this to false. Then you have the ding sound. As you know, when you go up in an elevator, it makes a ding when it hits your floor. And this will be the all pickup sound, so the ping as, you, uh, as the doors open. Then we have the action bar, which tells you you go up or down the floor. And then we have some particle effects here as well, which you can change the color and size of, which is pretty awesome. Um, and then we have the delay at the bottom, which is pretty important. So 20 ticks in a second. So it was 40 when I initially showed you, but then changed it to zero. But you can change that to whatever you want. 
But that is the plugin. It's really fantastic, very simple and lightweight, and is very, very useful. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.